so, so liquid was proposed originally, and you know, of course, people like any technology, people use it for different reasons that that they find interesting. But originally, as a, a way to provide more security and decentralization for traders. And so today, most of the trading volume is actually on exchanges, where you're giving custody to a single exchange. And unfortunately, there are still exchange hacks and fraud discovered in exchanges. You know, the famous uh, Quadriga. Uh, exchange in Canada, which turned out to be fractional, and so you never know as an exchange user if that's the case. Whereas, with Liquid and um, sort of decentralized order book technologies like TDEX and SiteSwap, you can, you know, place limit orders through a website, and the website has no custody of the Bitcoin or the stablecoin that you're transacting, and so your coins and stablecoins can remain in your software wallet or your hardware wallet, and you keep control of your keys, but you can leave a limit order. And the limit order is you know, visible to the network or to the to the website, but it only enables them to buy the coins at the price you're willing to sell them for. Right? And so the idea is that. So yeah, it's um, it's a federation, and so you are ultimately trusting, you know, that some majority of the federation remains honest, but. Um, that's still far more secure than trading on single exchanges, right? Because you need occlusion. There's also hardware uh, HSMs involved that are doing the block signing. So the, you know, it's not just a question about trust, but they actually would have to overcome the hardware protections to to attack it, and they would have to collude. So I would say generally that people should, you know, do cold storage and high value things on the main chain. But if they're trading, they should consider moving to Liquid and Sideswap and TDEX rather than trusting single order book exchanges. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.